So this is Contra 4. Released by Konami and published by Way Forward in 2007. It's very good. It's very hard. And it also has an introductory plot, so I'll just shush and let the game do its thing. Well, Black Viper's more than just a defenseless brain in the jar now, isn't he? One of the many new things Contra 4 adds is a character select option. Now, right now we've got four basic Contramen to choose from. And we're gonna go with Scorpion, because he has purple pants. And I like purple pants. Well, let's dive right in to the arcade mode. As for difficulty selection... How can I refuse a tagline like that? Seriously. Playing on hard mode gives you this awesome remix of the Stage 1 theme from Contra 1 in the Contra 4 Stage 1 here. And well, right out of the way, we've got ourselves a machine gun, and we're going to town. We've also got a flame gun, straight out of the original Contra. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with machine gun for now because it's great. And there's Old Faithful herself! The spread gun! Only three bullets so far. So far. See, there's two new things that Contra 4 adds to the Contra formula to make things fresh and exciting. And this is one of them! Weapon upgrading! Collect two of the same weapon, you upgrade the weapon and make it more powerful. And the other? The grappling hook. Pressing X lets you shoot out the grappling hook straight up, and it lets you whiz from the bottom of the screen to the top screen rather quickly. Absolutely essential for beating some parts of the game, and helpful if you need to get away from the bottom screen quickly because of something trying to kill you. It's a useful feature, and great for the DS's whole one big screen gimmick they've got going here. The only other game I can think of to do this was Yoshi's Island DS, and, well, I think Contra 4 was a lot better than that game. We got ourselves an incline, just like good old Super C, and we've reached the halfway point of the level. Lucky for us. There's a lot of weapons we can get, but for now, I'm just gonna stick with the spread gun and the machine gun in their upgraded forms because the spread gun is great as ever for taking out multiple enemies, and the upgraded machine gun is a wonderful single-target thing, great for taking down those big things that take lots of hits. Like this strange cannon on rails. Now, if you do it right, you can get in that thing and ride it, but, ah, uh, I don't really like to do that. I prefer to run around here with my spread gun and just shoot everything in sight. It's great. One thing to note, those cracked bits of land, the weird cannon on rails, can actually destroy them. Well, here's the classic wall boss. Shooting an awful lot from his cannons because we're on hard mode. And it actually has this laser attack, but, well, it's nothing, really. With the machine gun, you can just tear right through it. Well, that was the wall boss. Not so bad. But 
isn't done yet. We've got two screens, so how about a two-screen wall? I really want to take out those snipers up there immediately, because otherwise those bullets will become a problem. And we can grapple onto the helicopter and shoot the other core that we destroyed, but other than that, this boss goes down like nothing with the machine gun. And that's stage one in a nutshell. But believe me, the battle is just beginning. Geronimo.